Over the last few days, there has been a story that I've been following that is actually kind of comical and kind of interesting. And over the days, it's gotten more and more interesting. So now I wanna talk about it here in the Therapist React series. But before I get into this, hit that subscribe button. It really helps my page and I would really appreciate it. And let me reintroduce myself. My name is Elliot Connie and I am a licensed psychotherapist. And here in the Therapist React series, I like to cover things going on in the news and in pop culture and highlight the psychological lessons and improve our mental health. And in today's story, I wanna talk about a really famous popular TikToker, a man by the name of Keith Lee. Actually, he's really popular all over social media, but I think he immediately blew up on TikTok. And what Keith Lee does is he has a really interesting way of doing food reviews. And he's got kind of a stoic personality, like I got it, let's try it, and rate it one through 10. That's what he says. He gets food and he tastes it in the car or in his house and rates these restaurants. What's really cool about him, like if you don't know the backstory of Keith Lee, he was like down on his luck. He was an MMA fighter, not a famous UFC fighter, but like somebody who just fights MMA and literally down to like his last dollar. Starts making these videos and he's now one of the most famous people on social media. He lives in Las Vegas and he will review restaurants around Las Vegas, but now because he's so well known, he travels a bit and he reviews restaurants during his travels. And he, he gets invited to some of the biggest award shows and some, like he's really, really well known. And he went to Atlanta and Atlanta has a very interesting food culture that is not terribly user friendly to the customers of the restaurants. For example, Keith Lee tried to go to one restaurant and they wouldn't serve him to go orders. And this guy, he tries really hard not to get any favorable treatment. So once people know who he is, they wanna like bring him in and, and seat him right away and give him all the best food. So he waits in the car as his family goes in and tries to order food. And this one restaurant wouldn't serve him to go orders. Like it was against their policy. And as he was in Atlanta, he kept running into these weird policies where he couldn't get what he wanted. He couldn't get things to go. Before we came, we attempted to call our order in. We were greeted with an automatic message that said they do not take call-in orders. The automatic message said the only way you can do pickup is through DoorDash. We went through DoorDash, they was closed. But online, it said they closed at five o'clock. We went on DoorDash at four o'clock, but we were already here, so we just went inside. Keith Lee also admittedly uh, struggles with anxiety and social anxiety, so when he gets overwhelmed, he just leaves. So once they were like not gonna serve him what they wanted, Keith Lee just left. And it, it made me think about how important customer service is to our mental health and what in the world is going on in Atlanta. Now, one of my best friends, Adam, lives in Atlanta and I've been in Atlanta and I have experienced some of those weird policies that Keith Lee is documenting now. But it did make me think about how important customer service is to our mental health. Like we have to go and frequent places that treat us well and make us feel good about ourselves because that is good for our mental health. And think about some of the times you've experienced bad customer service, whether at a restaurant or some other place. Think about what it did to you. It makes you angry, makes you frustrated, it lingers on for a bit. So it's really, really important that you frequent places that give you, give you a good customer service experience, make you feel good about yourself because that lifts us up. So. What did you guys think of this story when you heard it? I first thought it was comical, but then the more I thought about it, the more I kept seeing it going, and the more I saw all craziness breaking loose, apparently restaurants in Atlanta are freaking out that Keith Lee is going to come and expose their weird policies, when instead they should probably just change their policies and be more customer friendly and be more service oriented. One of the, the restaurants was really well known a reality star. It's called Old Lady's Kitchen, I think is the name of the restaurant, but the reality star who owns it is Candy Burris. She's one of the real housewives of Atlanta. And she says on the weekends, their restaurant does not do to-go orders because lots of people come to the restaurant and to-go orders would overwhelm the kitchen. And I was thinking, but why not just hire more staff? Or why not just allocate more staff to the kitchen on the weekends? if you know to anticipate higher volume. If you're not prioritizing the customer experience, then you're going to suffer. And in this case, it just doesn't seem like the culture of Atlanta is prioritizing the customer experience. And I think that's a problem. So what do you think of this story? Leave your comments below. 
I read every single comment and I try to respond to each and every one. This story was really interesting to me and I wonder if you found it interesting too. And I hope I've encouraged all of you to make sure you are frequenting establishments that make your customer service experience positive and better. So thank you for watching. Please hit that like button. Please share this video. And seriously, please support this channel by hitting the subscribe button, then hitting the bell so you get notified each and every time we release a new video on the Therapist React series, which is every single day, Monday through Friday. Love you all so much. Thank you for being here. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video.